Now we're ready to start adding models for printing. To add models, you can select here or the Add Models button above. We'll open a browser window. This menu allows you to see the different file types that can be imported. Select your model and choose Open. Models can also be dragged and dropped onto the platform to be placed on the platform for a print. Once your models are on the platform, they can be moved and the view can also be changed using the view toolbar at the top. There are a number of two-dimensional views that can be selected as well as three-dimensional isometric views. The perspective can be toggled on or off. You can choose to zoom to the models, zoom to selected, or zoom to the tray. The last tool here is the 3D manipulator. You will notice that the 3D manipulator will turn on and off. As we look at that tool, you will notice some arrows. The arrows allow us to adjust the position of a model along that axis for X, Y, but not Z, because Z will be placed on the platform. The arcs represent rotating about the same colored axis as you see here. Grabbing the center black dot would be free moving it along the origin. We are going to rotate our model like so. Next, we'll go ahead and take a look at the toolbar on the right hand side. First thing you'll notice is that we have the red box. If I select this, this is our tool for repairing models. It will highlight in red when specific models, as highlighted here with exclamation points, need to be repaired. It's common for models needing to be repaired when imported into GrabCAD. If you would like to get the error details on why these models need to be repaired, you can select that button and you'll see color-coded options here we can see these models have some self intersections. I'm going to select repair all models. After models have been repaired, you can select the return to model view button. Moving down our toolbar, this is the units that the model appears in on your platform. These models were imported in millimeters. Changing this will adjust the size of your model. Next is our tray settings. The most common tool we will use for origin. Our tray settings allows us to select the material that we will be printing in. Select the change button and open your menu for validated materials. You will see the material name, and some have different settings, such as conservative. You can scroll down. We will select Dura 56 for these models. Expanding the Materials Properties button allows us to select the default layer resolution, chamber temperatures, the edge compensation tool, extra base layers, and scaling. This scaling is done per axis individually, going as high as 1% and as low as negative 0.5%. Below that, we see the layer settings for our first layer region and our model layer region. Non-open AM for P3 users can adjust the exposure delay and duration. Open AM for P3 users are able to adjust any of these settings. To see what the settings are per layer, you can choose per layer settings, scroll down. The last layer you see is the layer 
settings for the rest of the print. To clear these settings and upload your own custom via a CSV, you can select clear settings there and choose to upload the correct document. Below tray settings, we have the arrange tray for selecting models and arranging with the gap between those models. We have the orient tool where you can select to orient a specific amount of degrees about the desired axis. You may also use this to lock a model about the desired axes. You have the position tab. This allows you to move uh, or adjust model placement by increments. And then we have the scale tool. And again, this can be done uniformly uh, or per axis. And this can be any percentage that you have to type in here or by size. Lastly, we have the manufacturing notes if you are working with others and want to leave notes for your print. From here, I'm ready to finish positioning my models. One thing to note is if you are building a platform in GrabCAD, the rectangular boundaries of each model may not be within one another. So here I can see that the rectangular box of each would intersect. You may experience some estimate or print errors if you are building this platform in GrabCAD. You may need to try to spread those out. To get models to um, kind of go over one another, you may need to set this up in a different preparation and insert it as an entire model for the whole platform. At this point, before I send this print, I want to double check the correct material is selected. Verify you have the correct printer. You may want to choose an estimate if you're curious on the amount of time the print will take versus the amount of material it will use. And then I'm ready to hit print after that.